Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Mike. Mike, what's your last name? Mike DeLapp. Mike DeLapp. Let me grab the camera, as I usually do. Thank you. Mike, stand right next to me. What do we, uh, uh, what do we have here today? 1953 Studebaker hardtop Starliner Coupe. Uh, it commonly called the Lowy Coupe because the designer was a famous industrial designer, Raymond Lowy. And this was the uh, certainly ahead of its time. Uh, no other 53 cars looked like this, and it was the forerunner of what become the Hawk series and the muscle cars, but this is the original design. And this is the Commander. This is a Commander, which has got a V8 engine in it. They had what they called champions, and they were six-cylinder engines. But the Commander's the big one. The and, Commander's the big one. And thus the V8 dead center in it. And yeah, you're right, in 53, let's look at the side of this car, come with me. In 53, they didn't look like this at all. No, no, you didn't get this. Uh, this is about as, what, what was it like in 53 to be driving something that looked this stylish? I mean, was it just show-stopping? I mean, it's still show-stopping today. I'm, I'm sure it was. I didn't have a license in 53. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... Let's take a look at the big V8, and there's the keyhole there that you had to open up. And we'll feature the Studebaker. We'll come around back. As we look around back, we'll see the, uh, is that the uh, 53 license plate 53. there? 53. And look at the uh, nice tail end leaving. It looks so 50s though, doesn't what's it? The, uh, what's interesting is the three-pointed star yeah. uh, was yeah. only on the first half of the model year because Mercedes uh, uh, was filing oh. suit against Studebaker for an infringement of their three-pointed star. So really? only the early models in 53 had this three-pointed star. Oh, wow. So this is like really early. Okay, let me take a look at the interior. I just noticed something there. Watch this. How the door opens and it... Yeah, it was clever. And the back they, windows. They've got the three-pointed star on the ashtray, and that's, you know, it's just still unusual and on the steering wheel. Uh, so and then, and that, that doesn't move up or down. That's, that's solid. That, that, yeah, that's it. And I see the, the big S for the Studebaker. Is that a uh, speaker? Rear, rear speaker. Okay. And then uh, there's a lot of room in this car. Well, they call it a five passenger, uh, assuming they get three passengers in the front and two in the back. And look at that. And look at the gauges. And uh, beautiful manufacturing there. Take a look at the gauges there. And there, there's the V8. Baker up the center so you never forget what you're driving and the original steering wheel is that an ash is that a cigarette lighter right there that is Mike and then the uh, there's ashtray below it you know it was all and, common back in that area and a now. speaker right in the center too so one in the front one in the back okay that is great let's uh, shut this door and let's take a look under the hood Such a such a beautiful 50s and yet modern, unique design. This is a, uh, a V8. It's 259 cubic inches, about 170 horsepower. Which was huge back then. Yeah. What's interesting is uh, it's an overhead valve V8, oh, really? as opposed to the Fords of that era had uh, what they called flatheads. So the overhead let's, let's valve to move around as you're talking. was uh, Cadillac and Studebaker, and there was always a little bit of an argument whether Cadillac had the first overhead valve, V8, or Studebaker. Ah. But the consensus is that they were all uh, drinking buddies, so it was just shared, shared engineering. <laughs> they are drinking buddies. That's great. This was originally a 6-volt and it's been converted to 12 volts, which so you can see an alternator is just kind of a giveaway that it's got a 12 volt electrical system. Okay, well, we, we, some slight modifications are acceptable that's, and understandable. So let's, uh, let's shut the hood, and we're gonna have you stand right next to your car. It's got the wonderful fog lights in the front too. Mike, stand right there. Thanks for being on My Car Story.